I have done less work on this one than I have the others. Have a look and I'll tell you why. I've factorized, you can see, hands up, have you factorized already this one? Yes, good, thank you very much. So you can see I've got two of the factors drawn, but I've elected not to draw two of the other factors. Here's why. You got x plus one, you got x on there, right? Then you've got x minus three, and you've got it happening twice. So if I were to draw it, I guess it would look something like this. There's one of them, and there's the other one right on top. Now remember why I'm drawing these factor lines. I'm drawing them to understand something about the sign, the regions that my actual thing has to go through, right? Well, have a look at these guys. How much do they contribute to the sign? Well, at the moment, both of them are negative. So what's the result? Positive. What about here? They're both positive. Still positive. So therefore, they contribute nothing. They don't change the sign at all. Another way you can think about this is that factor lines, I said nothing about the factor lines always having to be straight. What does y equals x minus 3 all squared, what does it look like? It's a parabola that looks like this. It's always positive except for that spot right there, okay? Where the whole function doesn't exist anyway because you've got a denominator of zero. <laughs> so that's why I have not drawn it. So these two factor lines that I've got, whoops, sorry. These two factor lines I've got here, that's all I need. Let's quickly go through and shade. Two negatives will give you a positive. Um, a positive and negative here. And then the rest of it yeah. is positive. Do you agree? Yeah. Yep. Um, there's a horizontal asymptote. This is an easy one. What is it? Zero. Just ze Oh, I don't need to highlight that. It's just zero. So let's go ahead and draw that across. Uh, I don't have intercepts yet. Can someone tell me what the intercepts are? Negative one is a number. Tell me an intercept. X, X equals negative one. So that's that guy there. And nothing else because there's a vertical asymptote on the y-axis. Okay. So that's it. That's, that's all my rules. So what am I going to do? Well, you can see I've got to come down here to this asymptote. Right? I've got this asymptote to approach, but I have to be in this positive region. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have to come up and then back down again. So something like that. Okay. What about in here, this little section right here? This is the, the not parabola, right? I'm going to call it a not parabola because it's not a parabola. Like that. And then what about on the right hand side? It's just like... It's, it's like a hyperbola. There you go, and there's the shape. 